You know, I really love the beach. I love to surf, swim, and hang out with my friends and spend the day there. Lately, it's getting hotter and hotter, and it's been said that global warming is the reason. Did you know that if we don't do something, the polar ice caps could melt, and all of what you see here will be underwater. This is real, really scary. Half of the whole state of Florida would be underwater. And I don't exactly want to catch a wave from the roof of my house. But hold on a second. I don't think I have to explain global warming. Everyone knows what it is, right? Um, I'm not really sure yet. No clue. Uh, it's getting warmer. Why should we worry about it? I have no idea. <laughs> well, despite the fact that those particular people didn't know what it was, there are some people we found on the street who had an idea of what it might be. Um, atmosphere kind of uh, creating a greenhouse effect, which is gradually warming up the our climate on Earth. I have to just say that it's not a it's not a myth. It's warming the environment. There's the waters rising. It's changing the balance of nature. Disaster. Okay, they understood it for the most part, I guess. But how about hearing from an expert? We spoke with Dr. George Cavros from the National Environmental Trust. He's going to explain what global warming really is. And I think it will change what some of you may initially have thought about this issue. Global warming is an increase in the Earth's temperature uh, largely caused by human activities, predominantly the burning of fossil fuels, such as the burning of coal or oil or natural gas. And this releases carbon dioxide pollution um, into the atmosphere. And these greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, form a blanket around the Earth trapping heat and raising temperatures right here on the ground. Uh, the 10 hottest years on record have been in the last 15 years, and the hottest year on record was last year. So this steady buildup of, of carbon dioxide pollution is uh, um, definitely changing our climate. Coal burning power plants are the largest U.S. source of carbon dioxide pollution. Uh, they produce about 2.5 billion tons of carbon dioxide every year. And automobiles are the second largest source, creating nearly one and a half billion tons of carbon dioxide pollution every year. So it's important that we become more energy efficient and use energy more wisely. Recent studies, one from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and one from Georgia Tech, have linked global warming to more intense hurricanes. Now, these studies looked at tropical storms all over the world, not just in the U.S., and found a, a correlation between rising temperatures and the intensity of hurricanes. Basically, warmer waters caused by global warming are, are like rocket fuel for hurricanes. The warmer the water, the more intense the hurricane. And Hurricanes Wilma and Katrina are good examples of the more intense hurricanes that we can expect in the future. I think it's important for each and every one of us to do our part in using energy more, more wisely. There's a couple, couple simple things that, that folks can do in, in, their, in their daily lives to do that. When people are buying appliances, they should look for the Energy Star label on those appliances. People should consider driving less or investing in a, in a hybrid car. So I think all of us have to take a look at what we do in our daily lives and see how, what steps we can take to reduce um, our carbon footprint. He really said some interesting things, and I found it very informative. But, you wouldn't believe how many people still don't believe in global warming. Even for those people, you gotta think that there's still the question of what if in the back of their minds. I mean, what if it is happening right now, and what if we don't do anything about it? What if we just ignore the scientists and all of the information out there? Three billion metric tons of carbon dioxide is released into the air every year. In the year 2003, there were severe heat waves in Europe that killed 35,000 people. At least 30 new diseases have sprung up around the world since the 70s. This is due in part to shorter winters, warmer summers, and the changing of the biorhythms of different species. As you will see in this animation of our planet, 
every country makes a certain contribution to global warming. Africa contributes 2.5%. Europe, 27.7%. Central and South America, 3.8%. Canada, 2.3%. The United States, 30.3%. Russia, 13.7%. Japan, 3.7%. Southeast Asia, China, and India, 12.2%. Australia, 1.1%. And finally, the Middle East contributes 2.6% to global warming. As you can see, the amount of CO2 emissions the U.S. contributes is the equivalent to two-thirds of the world's country. This is our Earth. If something isn't done here and now, it will be over before we know it. Well, there you have it. Global warming. Is it real? That's up to you. But, Excuse me, I'm gonna go catch